Thankfully, it's November, and Appalachian Wireless is offering the Samsung GS8 or the GS8 Plus for $100 off the regular price with two-year agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. The building is dark right now, but Mayor Les Stapleton and the city of Prestonsburg today took a step they hope will soon not only bring new life to a vacant structure, but new life to the southern end of Prestonsburg. You know, this is an exciting step for Prestonsburg. You know, the fact that we're able to obtain a property that we can start with a community center, and you know, it may be three years down the road before we're able to get it in place. But this is a step. It's a step forward that I didn't think we'd be able to realize until probably another three years down the road to even begin, but here we are. City leaders today signed paperwork to purchase the old Music Carter Hughes showroom, garage, and lot on South Lake Drive. Their plans call for converting the existing building and constructing another to serve as a new Prestonsburg Community Center. Some features of the building are already set in stone, including a field house with artificial turf, a twin screen movie theater, party rooms, and a playground area. But other plans are more flexible and Stapleton is welcoming community input. Um, we've actually talked about putting a tent up up there and having an open public meeting. Let everybody come up, you tell us what we want. You know, it's the communities. It's not something Les Stapleton wants to do, it's not something city council wants to do, it's the community. So if, if they want to see something in there, they need to come get involved. Supporters of the building, and there are many, say the center is something Prestonsburg has needed for a long time. Uh, growing up here in eastern Kentucky in Prestonsburg, um, we didn't have anything like this. And I played outside a lot in the yard, but we didn't have anywhere we could go, meet with friends in a safe environment, and just play, you know. And um, I think it's going to be great for all age, age groups, like you said, um, from 8 to 85, you know, we'll, we'll have something for everyone there. The project differs significantly from a similar effort four years ago, most notably in cost. The property was acquired for less than half of what a previous site would have cost, and the renovations and constructions are expected to be a third of the earlier plan. And now, with deed in hand, Stapleton says he is going to go after money to make the center a reality as soon as possible. It's one of those things where if I've got a project ready, or a shovel ready project, which means Look, this is what I've got. I've got it here. We're ready to go with it. I need money to get started. It's easier to get money. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be running that deed in Frankfurt saying, hey, look, let's work. Stapleton says there is currently no timetable set for when the facility might open. All of that, he says, depends on funding. Reporting in Prestonsburg, I'm Ralph Davis for EKB News.